Right guys, it was here. We've been waiting for this news, man. My, all my United fans around the world, I'm sure, will be delighted, uh, relieved that Eric Ten Hag and Manchester United have finally got their man. I think 85 million uh, is, is the rumoured number. It's around that figure. Um, Ajax was stubborn, and rightly so. It's within their rights to do that. But this is a fantastic signing for Manchester United. It's a statement. May United are backing their manager in the transfer window. Um, and what does Anthony bring? Um, he brings trickery. He brings that unpredictable Brazilian element. Um, a fantastic technical football player. Um, plays on the right-hand side of, of the front three. Cutting in on his left foot. He's left-footed predominantly. And he's a man, just a box full of tricks. He's, he's someone who wants to beat people. Um, but he has got an eye for a pass as well. He can create. He can slide balls through for the attacking players. Uh, and for good people that make good runs off of him. And what he does like to do, he likes to tease players towards him, bring, you play, bring the defender towards him, which creates space behind, and then that enables him to be able to find the runners with, a great, with the great vision that he has. So he's not only a great dribbler, um, and a player that likes to take the ball to the defenders and, and, and stand them up 1v1, he's going to get fans off their seat at Old Trafford, I'm sure, of the skills, the audacity that he plays with. Um, but he also wants people running off him. And I think the more people you get running off him, and I think he's better when he's playing short passes and moving and running and, and the Ajax way. If Eric Ten Hag can get the attacking um, formula working like that, it will really suit him. Um, and I think it will suit someone like Sancho as well. He likes to play with that short passing and moving type of game. Although I feel like he may be a little bit more explosive. Um, but he definitely brings that excitement factor that Old Trafford love in their wingers. Um, it want to beat the fullback, and and Man United wingers down the years have always been able to beat people. If not beat them, they can beat with a with movement and skill, um, and a shimmy um, with a pass, as we saw with someone like David Beckham. Um, so the wing 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 men at Manchester United have got great history, and I'm hoping that this one's another one on that conveyor belt of wingers that come in and excite the fans. Um, areas that he would probably need to work on. I think he's just his stats. I think he's his end product, assists and goals. I think he, he got double figures the last two years at Ajax while he's been there. Um, I think 10 and 12 were the, were the numbers. I think assists, very similar as well. So I think that he's somebody that likes a system, but I think he's got to make sure that he drills himself to drive those stats up and those numbers up. Because as we know, all the best teams in the world that win things right now, they're front three, across that front three, whether you play on the right-hand side, left-hand side or the middle, score goals um, and assist goals. And, and, and that's the area where he'll need to improve. But you have to remember, we're not buying the finished finish product here. Manchester United, all the fans, in the media as well, people need to understand, are oh, you paying £85 million? Pound. It's not the end product. He's going to make mistakes. He's going to do things that might frustrate. He's going to do things that you go... Mm, I'm not sure about that, but he's 22 years old and he will improve. Ajax and Eng uh, Eric Ten Hag signed him from Sao Paulo. He, he hit the ground running immediately, started performing, became one of the most integral players at the club, most exciting players at the club immediately. He's still on that growth trajectory right now. He's still doing that as a player. We haven't bought him at the top and he's going to do that. We've bought him here where he's doing really well, showed great potential, showed huge potential, had some great performances, stand-up performances in Champions League, and May United, May United have signed him from here to go there. So he's going to need patience. And I think we have to forget the price tag. I was with Skulls yesterday, and he made a good point. Just because he's, he's 85 million euros, whatever it is, 85 million pounds, that doesn't mean that you have to have everything immediately right now. And we shouldn't expect it, it to all be there because the age as well, he's 22 years old. If we were buying like a 26, 27 year old, I get it. You, you expect it immediately. You're buying the end product. You're buying the finished article. This is nowhere near the finished article. There's a lot to learn from him. The Premier League he's got to adapt to, obviously. But also Eric Ten Hag, he's not walking into a, a perfected, um, all guns and blazing um, Eric Ten Hag team that's working absolutely efficiently and effectively like he did at Ajax. This is a team that's being rebuilt. Um, they're, they're, they're being taught to understand a new tactical approach. They're being rebuilt um, emotionally, um, mentally. Um, they've, they're, 
that confidence wise is uh, very low at the moment. So he's coming into a very different environment, let alone a different country, a different league, and a different team. So there's a lot to work with and a lot to be built around him. But I'd like to think that he comes in and that they're at a better place than where they were if he'd have come in last season because the first two games of the season were terrible. And we've seen a big improvement in the last two games. Liverpool obviously was a huge one. And then yesterday's game was wow. Like I went there and it, it was, a, it, I wanted a good performance, but I think more importantly was the result. And the way they got that result was like the old days. It was like when we used to go to play. People try and build the teams I played in and the, the other teams that were before me that, that we went and just was like a, a fantastic team to watch every game and we just blitz teams and we won by three and four. It wasn't like that. The essence of a good team, the foundations of a team that win things on a consistent basis is their ability, yes, to beat teams and to pump teams when, it, when the time's right and when it's there and teams are there for the take and smell blood and go for it but also to be able to go to difficult places and grind out a 1-0 and not play well and be ugly and be resolute, be hard to play against. Now, they weren't all those things yesterday at Southampton, but they were very, 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 very well drilled and they were very, very hard to, 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 to beat because maybe I've gone a bit too, too over the ball, but very, very hard to beat, but they, they, they made it difficult. They showed a, a, an application, they showed a desire, they showed the grit, what it needs to win at places like Southampton. These aren't easy places to go and there's, there's some new players that have come in. Martinez and um, um, Manassi, the left, the left back, have come in, adapting again already to the, to the Premier League. These are difficult places, these are new experiences for these players. So with all that being said and where the confidence was and after the first two games of the season and all of us expecting... Um, a positive result after an after Liverpool game, which was so put us on such a high. I thought it was a very, 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 very good three points earned uh, at Southampton. And Bruno's goal, wow, what a finish! What a finish! So Anthony add into that. So then this where he's going to play on the right wing. Then who plays on the left? Does Sancho start on the wing? Does Martial start on the wing? Does Elanga start on the wing? Does Rashford start on the left wing? That left wing spot becomes a big point because and it all depends who's going to start up front. If Ronaldo starts, then it's, there's three players there waiting, four players for that one position. If Rashford or Martial start, then obviously there's two or three players starting for that left position. So a lot to think about for Ectang Hag. I'm sure he's done that, but I'm really looking forward to seeing once Anthony gets in the team, what else happens around him in the front three positions. So there you have it, guys. Anthony's here. He's signed. Looking forward to it. Let's go.